two videos in one day. I'm on my game. <laughs> I'm on my game, man. It only took me two years to get to this point. Hey guys, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel, if you are new. Hey, hello, my name is Megan, and if you are returning, thank you guys so much for coming back to another one of my videos. Today is a little bit different. We're gonna be trying out, I mean, I guess it's still kind of in the beauty category. It's just not something I was ever planning on getting, but I saw it, I want it, I've heard good things. We're gonna try it out on my channel. Uh, and that is, we're going to be testing out well, it's in a bag. I, we went to Target yesterday and I have been, okay, let me, let me just, let's do this. I picked up this guy. <laughs> this is the Revlon Power, oh, nope, uh, mm, mm, what is it called? Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Max Drying Power One Step Drying and Volume. This is the best of beauty from Allure for 2019. It's not a new product. I'm sure that if you are not new to YouTube and you've been around the beauty community for a while, a lot of YouTubers reviewed this about a year ago. And you guys have heard me on my channel really talk about the Dyson hair dryer for quite a while. And I've kind of gotten to that point where my hair, I need a new hair dryer. I need a new hair dryer. And as I was like so ready just to commit to getting the Dyson hair dryer, but I, every time I go and put it in my cart, I'm like, oh, $400, $400. Do I really want to spend that kind of money? Um, no. I don't, I really don't. And more than likely, I probably will still pick it up at some point. I wanna test this guy, this guy out though because I've heard amazing things. And the way that I like to do my hair, if you see me in recent videos, I love to get that nice little like salon quality blowout. And I did get my hair cut a couple of weeks ago and I have a lot more layers. Like you guys can tell I have like some bangs that need some, to do something. I need to do something with them. And if they're not styled, styled correctly, it doesn't look good. They only look good when I do, it doesn't really look good when I have straight hair, even when I go through with wavy curls. It just doesn't sit right. So really the only way that I like to do my hair and when it looks good is, is when I do a salon blowout. So if you guys want to see my first thoughts, impressions on this hair dryer, I picked it up at Target. It's readily available to pretty much everybody. Um, I will do it on camera with you, see how it works. I'll let you know at the end if I like it, if I don't like it. Yes. Now, before I do get into the video though, please do me a favor and just scroll past the screen, just like a little click, smash the thumbs up button. It really does help me out as a small YouTuber to push my videos out there into the YouTube verse. Also, if you find yourself coming back to my channel quite frequently, go ahead and click that little subscribe button as well as a notification bell right next to it if you want to be notified of when I do post my videos. And guys, I'm gonna get right into it. All right, so I washed my hair a little while ago and I have mostly, it's just been sitting in this braid because I don't like to dry my hair when it's wet because I feel like my hair gets, my hair, it does. My hair gets super frizzy. It gets super just not, not cute. Um, it doesn't ever lay properly. And that's kind of why I was looking for a new hair dryer. I've been using the same hair dryer for literally forever. I have a Conair Pro Air, whatever they're called. The, I picked it up at Target. I think it was like 35 bucks and it's been doing the job for a very long time. But recently it's kind of been crapping out. Um, it'll work when I'm here at home. But when I go to the gym, which I go to the gym about five days a week and I do get ready at the gym, for some reason, I don't know if it's the voltage they have there. I don't, I don't know. It just never works when I'm at the gym, but their own hair dryers work. So plus I, I need to be able to get to re get ready in a very sufficient amount of time. I only have about an hour after getting my workout done before I have to actually go over to work and having to shower, wash my hair, do my makeup get, and do my hair. It's not much time. Like if you are somebody like me and you like to do a full face of makeup every single day. Yeah. I need to make my hair routine nice and short and quick. So I need a, like a two in wet one and doing the whole hair dryer with the hair curler thingy, the, the, you know, I'm talking about like the bristle brush that's round, the round brushing it, doing that. And then also having to straighten iron it. It's just, it's, it's a whole ordeal. I don't want it. I don't want to do it. So like I said, I grabbed mine at Target. I do have the receipt right here. I got mine. It's pretty, it's still pretty pricey, but it's definitely not $400. I got it for $58.99 prior to tax. Obviously, so depending upon where you live, the tax is gonna be a little bit different. Like I said, I did wash my hair this morning. Well, not really this morning, kind of this morning. Around like 11.30 or 12. And it's mostly dried. And everything I, I've read says to mostly dry your hair. Um, and I'm gonna just kind of blow dry it. I didn't do too much research to be honest, guys. I'm just gonna blow dry it the same way that I always blow dry my hair whenever I do round brush dry it when I have the time, which is I'm gonna section it off into a couple little bits here. I'm gonna blow dry the bottom portion, then the midsection, then the top portion. I have already prepped my hair, so when I got out of the shower first, the first thing I used was my Briogeo leave-in conditioner. Same thing I use every single time I do wash my hair. I went in with a little bit of Moroccan oil as well as the Color Wow Color Shine Spray, whatever that's called. Um, so it's been soaking into my hair for a while. The My Hair Type 
very, very, very frizzy. <laughs> I do have very fine hair, so I do have, um, it's thinner, but I have a lot of it. And it is pretty wavy just from doing years and years and years and years and years, like literally 20 years of just heat styling it pretty much every time that I do my hair. I rarely let it air dry. Um, when I do let it air dry, I always pull it up into like a braid. Um, let's open this guy up oh, and he has, hopefully if I don't like it, I can return it because I did not get the warranty on this. Oh, he's pretty hefty. I mean, this isn't like a light dude. This is okay. All right. Uh, it has like a mixture of the different types of bristle heads for brushes, like almost like a normal flat head brush would have the hard bristles as well as the soft ones in between, like that a round brush would have. I have an extension cord sitting here because I just, yeah, I th feel like I'm gonna need it. Oh, the cord's actually pretty long. I mean, pretty good size. I don't know if that matters to you guys, but it's like, it's pretty all right. I know nothing about this. I didn't read instructions. I probably should, but I, I, I didn't. So all I see here is that it has an off, cool, low, high, and that's it. Is this the new one? I know they came out with a new one. They didn't really come out with an old one. I know they had an older one and a newer one. I have a feeling that this is probably the older one because it looks a little bit thicker when I heard that the new one's kind of like smaller. <laughs> He's pretty loud. I'm just gonna go for it. I promise I will not make you guys listen to this sound the whole time. So uh, I don't I don't really have a way of doing it. I feel like I might just go through and like do this down and then kind of go back and go up. Same thing that I would do with like a round brush. My only concern with it is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this one section. I mean, wow, that's one pass, like a couple of passes. My hair feels really smooth. That's really cool. So the one thing that I was concerned about going into this, and I'm sorry, I had to back you guys up so you can see a little bit more of it. I know I'm wearing a dark shirt, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. One thing that I'm um, concerned going into it, and I'm kind of already feeling it here, is because I have really frizzy hair. What a round brush is supposed to do, and when you have a very flat nozzle with a normal hair dryer, is that you're able to push the hair cuticles down, whereas this, the airflow is all the way around, so there's nowhere to like direct the actual blow dry. And when I was doing this, like I'm able to get really close to it, which is awesome, but like it's still getting frizzy up here. There's no way for me to lay that flat, whereas with like a flat, top hair dryer, you know what I'm talking about? I could push that down. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. Let's just, let's just do it. Overall, first impressions of just this strand, it dried really well. Um, and my hair wasn't like soaked, but it also wasn't dry. It was definitely wet. I didn't have to go through too many times and it feels still really smooth. So that's awesome. Let me, the, the brush head itself does get pretty hot. It feels just like a, a normal hair dryer would, but it went through my hair very quickly. It didn't snag on, which I was a little bit concerned about because when I watched Kathleen Light's review on it, she said that it was starting to snag a little bit. All right, let's do this section here. This is the bit where I'm gonna know if it works or not because my all of my little flyaways are always here and this is where I'm getting into my layers. How do I wanna target this? Do I wanna, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I was a little bit worried about that happening. Okay, all right. Oh, brush that All right, bottom section is done. I am sweating. It is hot. Oh, because this thing gets so close to your head, it, it gets hot. But so far, the bottom section, guys, I am like 
I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. This looks really good. My hair feels super smooth. It didn't take me that long. I feel like that only took me like five minutes or so. I wouldn't say that it gives me body right now and I haven't done the top. The top is really where that body is gonna come into play. Normally to get my hair to look like this, I would not only have to round brush it, I would also have to go in with a straightener to let my cuticle lay flat. And I don't think I hit this area really well because I couldn't quite grasp it. Um, but I mean, you guys saw, I definitely was not, like there was no technique to this whatsoever because I know nothing about how to part my hair and all that kind of jazz. I was just kind of picking out pieces as I went. To be honest, a lot of the pieces were very, very, very thick. I am really impressed. Holy Holy. And my ends look, I mean, I'll lay them down. Okay, um, this is gonna be great for this, the foundation wear test that I'm doing right now too, because I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. It's a little toasty in here. All right, now I'm gonna do the top section and I don't really know how I want to do this. I normally start from the front and then I work my way to the back and I feel like I might still just do that. Let's just, let's do it. Sweet Jesus, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Be warned, everybody. I, uh, I had to open up my door because it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I just need to section it. All right, guys, I mean, I literally just did all of this on camera with you. I haven't, wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, I am actually really impressed by this hair dryer. Um, it did a really good job of drying my hair. Um, I have flyaways everywhere, but I always have flyaways, but they're not looking frizzy. My hair is dry. I mean, this down here feels cold slash slightly damp, but I also didn't do a great job of sectioning. Keep that in mind. I wouldn't say it gave me a lot of body. Up in the front, it gave me body, but that's because I kind of went like this quite a few times. It definitely made my hair more straight than anything. And I feel like that's because the actual bristles, like the actual size of this thing is so big that it's really good for an everyday like blow out straight, uh, straight look. But I don't think that this is good for getting that blowout quality the, you know, I'm talking about the, like the flip, the fluff, the volume. Definitely did not do well for that. I will say though that this makes your head hot. Are you recording now? <laughs> my camera shut off because it's hit the 30 minute mark. I did have to get up because it made my room really hot. I had to open the door. So be warned of that. Um, it definitely was toasty, but this room also tends to get a lot of, a lot of heat and I do have a lot of lights on me right now. So um, I wouldn't worry about that. This is great though for smoothing, smoothing and straightening. Is this what I was looking for in terms of giving me volume and body? No. And the reason I'm looking for volume and body is because I have a bunch of layers, but the my shortest layer are more like bang and I like that big volumed look. I feel like if I pair this with a couple of Velcro rollers and I just start at the top of my head and work my way down, it'll look really good. Overall though, I mean, I was a little concerned going into this because I was wondering, I was worried about it destroying my hair and maybe being a little damaging since it's so close to the actual brush. But I feel like this might be less damaging in the long run. And this is totally just an assumption at this point, obviously, because I just I'm testing this out with you guys on camera. I don't feel the need that I have to go in with a straightener. Awesome, because I straighten my hair or I at least straighten the little front bits every single day. Even if I don't blow dry my hair or wash my hair that day, I still have to get these little guys to go down because they're my little fluffy pieces and they always curl. Um, my hair is fully dry and it's so smooth. Ooh, why did I not pick this up sooner? 100, you want me to be honest with you? As long as this doesn't fry my hair off long term, I don't think I'm gonna need to get the Dyson air dryer or the hair dryer, whatever the original one's called, the original Dyson, I don't know. I mean, it looks shiny, it's smooth. Bitch, this looks good. 
It gets my big stamp of approval right here. Two big thumbs up. I like it a lot. This is absolutely fantastic. I will be bringing this with me to the gym. This is great. I don't know obviously how it works when your hair is sopping wet. So I would assume that you might want to at least air dry it a little bit or at least put it up in a towel or a really safe towel, like a microfiber towel. So your hair doesn't uh, get snapped off, but I really like it. Oh my God. Big thumbs up, highly recommend it. I hope that you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, again, please like the, click the likes, like button. It would really help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you guys are looking to pick this up, go snatch it up, man. Seriously, this is great A. So good.